Today I'm going to upgrade the turbo piping on my Dodge Cummings. I got quite a few upgrades. I got compound turbos. I got um, a tail external wastegate. I got my snow methane water injection. I still have all my stock piping on here. Um, one day I'm going to go ahead and then get a aftermarket intercooler. We'll get twelve, fourteen hundred dollars. But in the meantime, I'm going to upgrade all the piping from three to three and a half inch. The intercooler is three and a half going in and three and a half coming out. Um, if you're curious, you can Google it and see how much more air volume you get from three to three and a half inch. It's quite a bit. Uh, so hopefully that's going to free up some of my boost and lower my ETGs a little bit. Use a little bit less water methane. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to build it all myself because I would like to do things myself if I can. Save a couple dollars and learn something. Uh, if you're curious, I have videos on how to build your own compound turbos and how to install an external wastegate. Also, take a look at those. Anyway, I'm going to take it all apart and then we're going to try to put it back together and see if we can make it all work. So here it is on my intercooler. I have a 45. I have a three and a half piece, three and a half inch round. Uh, just a piece of pipe for the coupling together and another 45 to send it up into my well. Um, this is connected to the intercooler and then up top we have our compound turbos. There's the bottom, the top turbo and I have my outlet for my turbo. I have a three inch to a three and a half inch 45. Um, connect that there and then I just need another short piece of pipe to connect them together and that will be the inlet side of the intercooler. Uh, if you don't have compound turbos I mean you can still do this. Some guys like to run just one single big turbo. Um, I prefer the compounds because the way you get the instant boost. Um, you know, it could still be worked out. You just got to do a little bit of planning yourself and your compounds may work out a little bit different. You may need a 90 boot or whatever, but you just, you know, figure it out. It'll work out for you. So there it is all bolted together. Coming off of your turbo, going down 45. Might be difficult to see it's underneath the radiator hose, but down inside there, it connects to the intercooler. Actually worked out pretty nice and deep. So we got three and a half inch coming off the turbo all the way down to the intercooler. Okay, so now we're on the supply side. Uh, you know, I got two 45s, one coming off of the intercooler, one turned up here. I got a piece of pipe down in there connecting the two. I have a mandolin bent three and a half inch U. And my plan is to go into the from the intercooler down to the intake. Um, of course, I'm gonna have to cut that off and make it fit. Uh, it's way too long. I took a gasket and I went to my local machine shop and I got them to cut me out a piece of half inch steel um, to use for my flange. Uh, they used a torch on the inside. I'm gonna use a deburr and clean that up after, after I'm done welding it, but it should work out that way. So here it is all welded up. There's my flange welded on, cut off. Uh, this is to bolt my oil dipstick on. I just got a um, Rattan metric uh, coupling, all thread coupling, welded on there. Uh, then I'm going to take these little things here. This is just a um, standard brass quarter inch by one eighth uh, threaded. And I cut the threaded part off, then I'm going to silver solder it on there so I can do my uh, water methane injection and get a boost sensor out of there. So that's what I'm going to do next. So there it is, all welded up. Uh, I painted it black just so it look a little bit better. Uh, there's my two outlets for my eighth inch outlets for my methane water injection. There's for my turbo boost. Um, as you can see, that looks like a much smoother, cleaner, neater horn than the original one. If you look at the original one. Uh, it's 
also three and a half inch, not three inch. Um, just to add a note, I do have a lift kit on this truck, a body lift. So I did that originally so I'd have more room to work. But I actually like the way the truck looks that way. So it's something to think about. It's not that hard to do. Uh, you can buy these things already made. I got about $125, $135. I bought all this stuff on eBay, except for the flange I had made. Um, you know, knickknacks here and there. But uh, to me, it looks like a nice, clean, neat turbo piping system. I'll put it back together and you can see what it looks like in the truck. One other thing you need to do is you need to run a weld bead around the ends of the pipe so the boot's got something to grab onto. If you don't, they'll slip off once they get under boost. Uh, they're too smooth. So, yeah, just run a bead or weld around there, grind it down a little bit, make it smooth, and then the clamp's got something to bite down on. So there it is in place. Uh, everything's hooked up. My water methane's hooked up. I got an extra tap here in case I need it goes down to the 45 as you can see the flange there um, everything looks like it worked out pretty good uh, in the back there is an outlet for the boost gauge um, everything matched up pretty good my dipstick sitting here real nice and tight uh, anyway there it is we'll see I uh, hopefully this will give me some improvement and Time will tell. Don't forget to watch my How Do You Build Compound Turbos Yourself and How to Install an External Wastegate. Thank you. Have a good day.